Hi, my name is Aske and I'm here at the LEGO headquarters to uh, show you the lineup of uh, the second half year villains uh, that's gonna challenge the Toas now that they've defeated the evil Lord of Skull Spiders. Today I'm gonna talk about the, the figures and how we designed them and which function they have and how they're gonna fight the Toas. What I have here is uh, the Skull Warrior, a generic type of warrior that's really great if you want to raise a whole army of these Skull Warriors. They're good because they have a bow and a sword on the back. And if you take out this sword, it has a really cool function because it's really great for stealing the mask of your opponent. You can just like grab it here and pull it off. But of course you also have the bow, which is really good if you want to shoot from a long distance. You pew, pew. We have a, a really iconic mask on this guy. It's the skull mask here. Uh, that gives him a really evil look. And we also have this new shell over here that gives a lot of mass to the figure. The design of these figures is that we want this skull army. So what you can see is that they have these shells that's like almost falling off, exposing the raw bone system underneath to give this really evil look of uh, these villains. The next figure I want to show you is the skull slicer. With this guy, we really wanted to push the function element from the first Taurus, so we figured why not give him four arms that are movable. What the Skull Slicer really wants is to get Lever's mask, because they are like arch enemies. And that's why he has this green color scheme, to really show that they are like crashing and bashing all the time. And what you can see on the mask here is that it's like draining the power of the golden mask, and that's why he has this glow of energy in him. Another color we used on this figure is this fluorescent red, which you can also see in the Skull Grinders color scheme. This is to show that these are under his command. A new element we also used on this figure is this shell, where you can see it has the same facet pattern as the Skull uh, Spider Mask that we have here. The next bad guy I want to show you is the Skull Scorpio. The Scorpios are these scorpion-like figures that might come from the desert. You can see them sneaking around just like crawling around on the sand. And the color scheme in this is of course yellow to show that they live in this desert landscape. And it also the color of the mask that has drained the power of Pohato's golden mask. This figure has like a regular scorpion, a stinger on the back, but it's not just the normal stinger, it also grabs the mask. So it's a really cool function and is also really good to hold in your hand if you want to like really play action. The new elements we have in this model is the iconic skull mask here. It's different from the other one, but it shows that it's also a really, really bad guy. We also have a new axe element that we use up here in the stinger function. The last model I want to show you is the skull basher. This guy is the big evil brute of the bunch. He has two giant axes that he's fighting with. And not only that, he has a function in the back that lets you control this figure and swing the arms from side to side and bash the two axes together. The colors we have on this model is this purple color. And we chose that color because his enemy is Anua and he's trying to steal the power of Anua's golden mask. So you can see this color just running through his body. The new elements we have on this model is of course the great big battle axe we see over here. It has the same hook function as we see at the sword, though you can really go in and grab the mask off your opponent. We also have the new uh, skull mask on this figure to, make, to really show how evil he is. And we use the new shells over here to get a, give a lot of mass on the shoulder and the knee so you can really see how big and brute this guy is. What we also have is a newest golden mask that has been drained of this power. So you can see this gold and uh, purple really flowing together. So that was the models that I wanted to show you today. The great army of the Skull Warriors. So if you think your toes are brave enough to face these, I suggest you go out and challenge them. And thank you for watching.